Close your eyes and focus on your breath. As for anything else outside, you can let it go. And John Fung tells of the time when he was out in the forest. He was in his meditation tent. And he checked the sky before he set up his tent. Make sure there were no clouds. He didn't see any sign of any rain at all. But midnight, there was a big downpour. And the meditation tent, those are not really like tents, they're more like an umbrella with mosquito netting. So the wind and the rain were coming in from all directions. So he took all of his robes, put them in his bowl, except for one robe which he wore around him. He sat there and meditated, and the theme of his meditation was the, the body may be wet, but the mind isn't wet. The body's wet, the mind isn't wet. He repeated that to himself, and his mind got into concentration. He said he wasn't suffering from the cold or the wetness at all. It's good to keep that in mind when there are unpleasant things in our surroundings. So we have the choice to focus on them or not. Now sometimes when you have a duty that you have to take care of, you have to focus on some unpleasant things. But there are a lot of unpleasant things in the world that serve no purpose at all. There's no need to focus on them, no need to create suffering for yourself out of them. So remind yourself, you always have the choice of where you're going to focus your attention. And make the most of that choice. Try to f find a place where it's going to be skillful. Like right now, you're able to get the mind to settle down, gain some concentration. That concentration will serve you well, both in giving the mind a place to rest, giving it a basis for being more mindful and more alert. and for gaining some understanding into the mind. Concentration can do all these things. So develop it. When the Buddha told the monks to go meditate, he didn't say just meditate, he said go do jhana. Get your mind into concentration. Because it's in the process of concentration that you can gain insight and tranquility together. And the concentration itself gives you more stillness, so the insight can go deeper. And as the insight goes deeper, then the concentration gets better. The two qualities go to help each other along. But in the very beginning, it means learning how to focus and how to choose your focus. Remind yourself that, that even though some things may be beyond your control, this is something that is in your control, where you're going to focus your attention. So choose to focus it wisely.